We got him, we got him, we got him. Guys, I'm so excited to film this video. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Candy. No, I said that name like a stripper, Candy. No, it's more candy. There it is. What's up everybody, so today I am doing a video on weird candy. Now I bet you're wondering, Zan. Zan. How did you get this candy? Did you travel the world? No. I came across one of those stores. You know those stores where the, the employee is always on their cell phone? Because nobody ever goes in there. It was a candy store at the mall. I walked in the store and I was like, Debbie. And she was like, don't call me Debbie. I was like, okay, hey, Janice. She's like, my name isn't Janice. Can you please help me? And as a team, me, Debbie, Janice, came up with these products. They seem like the weirdest ones. Okay, so first up, we got Slush Puppy Double Squeeze Candy. Obviously, it's not cold, so it's not a slushy. Okay, watermelon and blue raspberry. That's what it looks like. That is the two flavors. <laughs> the texture of this is like toothpaste. Look at this. Just for the record, if I don't know where this candy's from, I'm just gonna automatically assume it's from the UK. Because the UK, for some reason, has the best candy. I'm not a fan. Jesus! The texture is like toothpaste, but if there was sand in it, it's like grainy toothpaste. Next candy. Okay, next up, we got Nickel. Nickel nip. <laughs> nickel nip. Actually, nickel nips are what you want. Nipples that are nickel size. Anything bigger than that is a little excessive and like you want attention. <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that, but. Nickel nip, so it says bite them, drink them, chew them. That's funny, it sounds like my Tinder bio. Kidding. That's nasty. It feels like plastic. There's no way you can eat this. This has gotta be plastic. Snap one off. We'll go with blue first. I legit don't know if this is plastic or if I can eat the candy. I think I'm chewing on candy or plastic. Gosh, man! Oh. Yep, that's wax. That is not candy. You can drink it. <laughs> this legitimately tastes like medicine. Ew. Ew. This is absolutely the worst one so far. Okay, blue is freaking disgusting. Let's try red. Red isn't that bad. Yellow. Ugh. 1,000% that's pine salt. Okay guys, I absolutely do not recommend you guys try nickel nip. Next candy. Next up we got rainbow coconut bar. The reason why I went with this one is because I'm a huge fan of coconut. Anything coconut, pff, I'm a fan of. <laughs> okay, pure coconut for pure enjoyment. Oh my God, that smells like coconut. You know what's sad that the smell of coconut reminds me more of like a body lotion than it does the food. I'm not sure why it's called rainbow because it only has the colors red and white. Yep. Absolutely disgusting. There was not an ounce of enjoyment in there. False at <laughs> Rainbow coconut bar. Absolutely terrible. The worst candy we've had thus far. Next one. So for this next one, this is what sparked the entire video idea. Right now we got orange crush pop tarts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna eat one cold and we're gonna eat one warm. Whoa. Not gonna lie, guys. This tastes 1,000% like Orange Crush. Breaded Orange Crush. Let's try and heat this up. <laughs> Way better heated up. Southern biscuits and gravy flavored chips. Now, because I lived in the South for five years, I do, in fact, know what the flavor is. Looks like salt and pepper chips. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it tastes like biscuits and gravy, but after it's already been mushed around and mixed in your mouth. Next candy. Boof! Crush pineapple. So I'm curious, the can looks golden. It's a very beautiful can. <laughs> Said no one ever. That is very yellow. Look at that. Look how yellow that is. Does not smell like pineapple. In fact, it smells more like cream soda, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, okay. This tastes a lot like cream soda. A little bit more of a tarty taste. Like if you were to give me this drink and say, guess what flavor? I 100% would not say pineapple. Next candy. Okay, let's go into our last candy. Sour Spitter. The reason I bought this guy was because he had a cool hat that said splat. Then I realized that like 80% of candy is watermelon flavored. Got like a choker on it you have to remove. Wow, that is not sour at all. The idea of it is kind of gross when you think about it. It's literally a kid spitting into your mouth. It's pretty disgusting. So there you guys have it. That was my candy taste test of odd candies that are out there floating around in our atmosphere. Two out of all of them are legitimately edible. The other ones are borderline chemical ass. 
They taste like tits. Rainbow coconut bar tastes like a squirrel's ball sack. Now get ready for all the comments. Dan, have you tried a squirrel's nut sack? Yes, once in college, and it was an awful experience. So follow me on Instagram, at Danocracy. You guys can follow me on Twitter, at the Danocracy. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It's the little gold button, the yellow button. All you do is click it, or is it red? If you're on a computer, you can actually click the subscribe button that is about to come up. Do that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.